Ag leaders signed the 2020 Tri-National Ag Accord, representing a 29-year commitment to improve trade with our North American neighbors. Kentucky Ag Commissioner, NASDAQ President, Dr. Ryan Quarles joins us now. He led the U.S. delegation. Thank you so much for spending some time with us, Commissioner. Let's start with a recap of the signing and the value of this accord for U.S. agriculture. Well, we are so proud to host virtually the 29th annual Tri-National Accord. And what this does, it allows all the state and provincial ag commissioners, secretaries, and directors to review the trade, st the trade status among the most powerful trading bloc in the world, the North American continent. And with the new USMCA being implemented just a couple of months ago, we have a lot of momentum uh, for agriculture. We're gonna continue to work with our counterparts, both in Mexico and Canada, to make sure that agriculture shines and that we all benefit from this new trade agreement. Love that. Any trade opportunities for our farmers right now are very well received. What were some of the main topics of discussion during the signing that, that really stood out to you? Well, number one, we have to make sure that now that we have a trade deal, that it's implemented correctly and that it, it complies with the spirit of the law. And that means agriculture will benefit in America. And so we're making sure that the implementation goes smoothly. There are some technical review committees that are going to be established. And so we want to make sure that agriculture is well represented on these technical com technical committees. And yet another thing we talked about was the impact of COVID-19 among the continent and also strategies to keep uh, African swine fever, not just out of the United States, but out of the North American continent. You know, this has been a tough year for a lot of our farmers and ranchers, but it's also been a good year, very well received by consumers out there. I think farmers are appreciated more now than ever before. How do you see these changes, these relationships, setting the stage for successful trade going into 2021? Because we're hoping things will get even better. Well, 2020 is the year of trade. We have a new trade agreement with Japan, phase one with China. And of course, the biggest trade agreement in the United States history, the USMCA, which is going into effect right now. These trade agreements will benefit American agriculture. They're somewhat uh, overshadowed by the implications of COVID-19, but overall, this is a good year for trade relations for the American farmer. And one thing we're trying to stay positive about is that people have a greater appreciation about where their food comes from due to COVID-19. And a lot of Americans like myself have spent a little bit more time in their kitchen. And we think this is a bright spot for local agriculture, but also educating people about where their food comes from. All right, we always enjoy spending time with you. You have been such a great advocate for agriculture in Washington. You do a lot of work that goes unnoticed sometimes. We really appreciate you. Kentucky Ag Commissioner, NASDA President, Dr. Ryan Quarles, thank you for spending some time with us today.